Hi everyone, Lewis here, and welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a side to me I want to talk about. As you all know, I'm autistic, my case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today I'll be reviewing the former YouTube Premium, YouTube Red, now Netflix Legacy sequel series to the original Karate Kid movies, Cobra Kai. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This is inspired by the Cobra Kai Season 1 episode, Quiver, and the character in the series I speak of is called Eli Moskowitz, or Hawk as he's known as. Hawk was born with a cleft lift, which led to him having surgery and leaving him with a scar, which made him a target of bullying. When he first joins Cobra Kai, he tells Johnny Lawrence, who was one of the villains of the original Karate Kid movie, who brought Cobra Kai back, that he might be on the spectrum, as Johnny tells him he doesn't know what that is and to get off of it pronto. He is convinced to join Cobra Kai after seeing his new friend Miguel Diaz beat up the bully Kyler and his friends in the cafeteria. Johnny tells him to flip the script which causes him to go from the bullied Eli to the tough guy he calls himself Hawk. Over time, Hawk becomes corrupt throughout the rest of season 1, all of season 2, up until season 3 where he starts to see the error of his ways as it took a combination of Johnny, Miguel, and his best friend Dimitri who he did bully for a while and took part in breaking his arm. Then he saves Dimitri from those who he thought were his friends and then reunites with Dimitri, Johnny, and Miguel as part of Eagle Fang and the merger with Daniel LaRusso's Miyagi-Do which will lead up to the event of Season 4 of Cobra Kai. My thoughts on Cobra Kai as a whole, I like it, and I like how they continued the story that started between Daniel and Johnny. I also like how they brought someone who's on the spectrum into the franchise. I can relate to Hawk as like him. I've been bullied as a kid, teased, and being on the spectrum. I highly recommend Cobra Kai for those who like karate and the Karate Kid movies. I will post the link to Cobra Kai on Netflix in the description below. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, during these times when heading out, wear a mask in public indoor settings. Wash your hands. Carry hand sanitizer with you. Practice social distancing. Most importantly, get vaccinated. And lastly, stay safe. Stay healthy and together. We are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.